Hey everybody, I'm Sid. And I'm Mackie. Welcome back to our channel. Today we decided to do a video that people have asked us to do for a long time, how to get your significant other into mountain biking, or the title, how to turn your wife into a pro mountain biker. Spoiler alert, you can't. You can't. If that's your goal, you should probably <laughs> um, rethink it. <laughs> we think it's a little funny when we get this question because Actually, no, I find it a little irritating because I've been riding mountain bikes since I was 14 and people all the time are like, how did Mackie get you into mountain biking? Like, that's so cool that you guys ride together. I'm like, it is cool that we ride together, but he did not get me into this. So step one, don't assume that every couple you see riding a bike that the man got the woman into riding. We actually met racing bikes together in college, so he didn't have to turn me into a mountain biker. However, we do ride together a lot. So I think we can offer some basic advice on how to keep your relationship going when you're riding together. <laughs> Not how to get someone new into mountain biking. There's lots of There's really lots good of videos, videos like that. Yeah. Check out Dusty Betty's channel. She just did a sort of live stream with a couple other couples who are more in that position. And I think she has another video about like tips for getting your girlfriend into riding. Yeah, we're gonna talk to you more about how to have a good positive riding experience when riding with your partner, because that's our experience. Like. So it didn't get me into it, I didn't get her into it, we were both into it, but because we are very comfortable with one another, that brings a different dynamic to a ride. The number one reason we are able to ride together without killing each other all the time is that we have a coach. So it's not like Mackie's like, oh hey, let's go like ride for three hours on like the hardest trails I can find. Like, let's do intervals or whatever, then I'd probably be like, ugh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> but like, we can just blame our coach whenever we're like, we don't like this. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so this means we have a third party arbitrator when it comes to deciding what we're gonna do. Um, we've definitely like heard a lot of stories of people who are like, I took my partner out on this trail and it was way over their head and like, ah, it was terrible. And like, can totally relate to that. I took my high school boyfriend out on a mountain bike once and we ended up in the ER, so like, not gonna <laughs> talk about that. Um, and I get into situations that are over my head all the time, but they're usually due to a race we're doing that has really technical terrain. At which point you have no choice. <laughs> At which point you have no choice. It's very rare that Mackie takes me on something that I don't want to be on. Yeah, we, for the most part, discuss and decide on a ride together. We're like, hey, how about we ride this trail? Oh, no, you know, I'm not feeling it today. Like, how about this trail? Oh, yeah, okay, let's do that one. So it's a joint process, and, and part of that is that both of us are professional mountain bike racers, so. But I, but I think that translates to anyone. Like, if yeah. you are riding with your girlfriend and wife and she's less experienced than you, I know a lot of our viewership is male, so it's probably more relatable. Let her decide where mm -hmm. you go, or, or come to it together, you know? Like, don't be the person who's picking all the trails because honestly then you will be blamed for when the trail is not, you know, living up to expectations. <laughs> not the right trail. <laughs> so, so yeah, for us I think part of it is having that third party arbitrator who's deciding what workouts we're gonna do so if they're hard it's not like one of our faults. And doing races which is where we ride the most challenging trails so I can moan at the race director and not at Mackie. <laughs> which is good. <laughs> the next thing is if one or both of you are doing workouts realize that the workout does not count as together riding time. Yeah. We both train and we may like start together, but that's about it. And then we do the workout and then either cool down together or a trail ride together, something like that where we do get to ride together a little bit, but the workout is not together time. And that I think I is think that really also important. that takes the pressure off of me a little bit cuz I know that Mackie got his workout in, he did the speed work and the intervals or whatever he needed to do, and then after that, if he's riding my pace, it's like no big deal. I know a lot of women feel a lot of like guilt and responsibility over being slower than the people they're riding with. If you're doing your workouts separately and then riding together, the expectations are really stated and mm -hmm. that makes it a lot easier. And honestly, that's true just riding with anybody. Like we've seen this go down with group ride, like local group rides, is one person like wants it to be Hammerfest, 
and you know somebody else is like I just wanted to have a group ride communication yeah is key. communication regardless of, in all relationships in all relationships your yeah. friends your mm -hmm. partner whatever so I think the next point is skills coaching a lot of people assume that like Mackie has taught me how to do everything that I know how to do on a bike which you've certainly taught me a lot yeah um, we have however worked with Lee McCormick who's a skills coach and I think that's super valuable. These videos always say like, send your girlfriend to a women's clinic. And, I mean, there's some value in that for sure. Um, I do think it's also helpful to do this kind of stuff together though, especially mm -hmm. you can sort of even the playing field and like, like, yeah, you may be faster than your girlfriend, but your cornering probably still sucks. Like our cornering sucks. Everyone's cornering sucks. <laughs> Everyone's so like, cornering sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you have something to learn too. And I mm -hmm. think being open about that will make your partner less stressed. It might be helpful for him or her to not see you as, you know, an authority in everything because like you probably have a lot to learn. So yeah, so working with Lee has been really great because A, we do it together so mm -hmm. Mackie can kind of see the things that he tells me that are helpful and also the things that aren't and then, you know, he can kind of give me those cues later and the same, you know. Yeah other way around. Too. Yeah, Sid can watch what I'm doing and say, hey, remember Lee told you to do this and, you know. And I also, I, I really appreciate that Mackie is willing to take my advice even though I am not faster than him. I think I have a fairly good eye for like what good riding is. That doesn't mean mm -hmm. I execute it all the time. Like I, <laughs> certainly, I, I would say my eye is better than my execution a well, lot of the and time. and you can have really good form but not necessarily go faster. Like, there are plenty of people who just bomb down a hill totally out of control who are going faster than Sid. I know basically no one who corners as well as Sid. No. And like, so it's important to, no, but I mean, it's, it's true. So it's important to realize that like, you can execute really well and not necessarily be going as fast because you're not just shutting down your brain and like, Yeah, going so, so here's a tip for all the dudes out there who are trying to get their female partner into riding. Take a clinic with a woman mm -hmm. together. There yeah. are so many good female instructors out mm -hmm. there. Just because you're a dude doesn't mean you can't learn something from a woman and showing your partner that I think is really valuable. So mm -hmm. doesn't mean you should like go on the like Vita women's clinic like that would be silly. <laughs> but like you know like you take a, take a private invited. lesson <laughs> and you will learn a ton. Yeah. Yeah, and if I you're willing to learn something, that's going to encourage them to be willing to learn also. There are a lot of dudes out there that think because they are faster and because they've been doing this for longer that there is nothing they can learn. So that's just not that fun to ride with people like that, like as a friend mm -hmm. or as a partner, like that's just not great. So don't be that person. Realize when is a good time to give advice and when yeah. isn't. And honestly, when you're riding together, most of the time isn't a good time to give advice. Tell them like, hey, if you're looking for advice or if you want tips, ask me for them. And mm -hmm. then if they don't ask for them, don't say anything. Unless it's something that like you're really worried about is dangerous and like they're gonna seriously get hurt. Like, okay, probably we're saying something. But, but besides that- Kind of rare, really. Yeah, really. I yeah. mean, I think it is, you know, if your partner is someone who's like, I'm gonna huck this jump and you're like, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> you should like you should do that. probably- yeah say that mm -hmm. you know but that's not I think the scenario that most people no. run into if you go out on a ride with someone who is not as experienced as you and you do parking lot skills work this was something Steve and Tess were talking about mm -hmm. in their yeah. video which was really good if you do that work beforehand that helps the person like have a skill that they're working on that allows you to like set it up so that you're like, hey, why don't you work on this? Like, let's both work on it in the parking lot. And then when you go ride, you can just be like, all right, we already did the skills work. We're not gonna talk about it anymore. And Unless like, you want to. Yeah, and yeah, if they yeah. want to, then great. Then, but like, then you aren't just being like, oh, think about this and oh, think about this. And because it's, it's hard when you're learning something to think about all these different things. So just, you know, skills work in the parking lot and then go ride for fun together and have a good time. Working with a skills coach is very helpful because it gives you some idea of what is a helpful thing to say mm -hmm. and I think a lot of mountain bikers you know how to do it right but it doesn't really mean you know how to teach it some people are a lot better at this than others Mackie I think you're you're a pretty good teacher naturally but there are still things that you say sometimes that I'm like <laughs> that is 100% unhelpful and one of them and this came up in Steven Tess's video <laughs> as well is it gets easier when you go faster Never say that! Mackie probably told me 
a thousand times, it gets easier when you go faster, and that did not make me go faster. It just took me time. It just made her mad. <laughs> it just pissed me off. And so it took time to like get comfortable on the train, and then, yeah, it's easier when you go faster. But also, if you feel like you shouldn't be going faster, you're probably right. I've said that, and it's a bad idea. <laughs> not helpful advice. I think another unhelpful advice is just send it. I do think women process risk differently. Mm -hmm. I don't just send things, you know, like I look at them. Mackie will go off of, you know, huge jumps without seeing the landing. And I don't feel comfortable doing that. If your partner is like, I don't think I could do this. And you're like, I've watched you ride forever. Like you can definitely do it. Don't That's pressure people. That's one that I and, have said a lot of times yeah. and it never And works. he's probably right. But also like if my head isn't screwed on, right? Like I, it's not that I don't have the skills to do something. It's just that I am not in a good place to be doing it. And so I usually don't do it under those circumstances. And sometimes I think I need to be pushed a little bit, but that's something that I think we've come to over a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and being basically, we have ridden together a lot for a long time, and therefore I now know when I should push Sid and when I shouldn't. If you're riding with someone who's new to mountain biking, never push them. Yeah. Because really like- What do you have to gain? Our final piece of advice is the most important one. Mm -hmm. Bring a lot of food. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the only times Mackie and I have been legitimately mean to each other on a bike ride is because we didn't have enough food. So we if your partner is being a grump, feed them something and then see but, if they're still being a grump. But this is important. This goes back into the like things not to say. Don't say, you're just hungry eat this. Say, I'm hungry. Let's, Let's stop a for snack. a snack. <laughs> Why don't you have some? Yeah. That works a lot better. Because mm -hmm. yeah, no, nobody don't... wants to admit that they're only grumpy because they're hungry. No. But they are. They have lots of legitimate reasons for being angry at you. I remember the first ride I ever went on with Mackie. I was like 20 years old. Mackie is like big, bad, pro XC racer. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, there's no way I'm going to be able to ride with him. And I remember we stopped after like half an hour of riding and he just pulled all of his food out of his bag. He was like, I need a snack. And I was like, oh, I could totally ride with this guy. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> this is going to be okay. And that's how I won her heart, everybody. <laughs> you had plums. You had- I had plums. Yeah, you had plums in your backpack on this that's ride. That's awesome. <laughs> anyway, a little bit of trivia. So yeah, lots <laughs> of snacks and don't call them out on being hangry. Yeah, unless you're- you're both comfortable with that. We've been riding together <laughs> for a long time and you are still not comfortable all right, all right, with it. We're going to cut this off now. Thank you everybody for watching. <laughs> Hope this was helpful. If you do have further questions, we'll probably make a follow up to this at some point because uh, we do get a lot of questions about it. So make sure leave to subscribe. Them in the comments. Leave us a comment. And, and see you next see time. You next time.